Now after all these years, I've always said never to ghost hunt alone. That's not safe. You shouldn't do it. But the investigator side of me couldn't resist this opportunity. To experiment with the isolation and fear of being at one of the scariest places alone. I moved to, to this area to preserve uh, and protect historic buildings. I own not only this one, but uh, uh, three or four other uh, miners' cabins, houses, you know. And I'm preserving them in uh, original condition, you know, kind of like they do in the ghost town of Bodie. And, uh, you know, that's basically what uh, I enjoy doing and why I I came to Goldfield. It was so full of historic, neat things that needed to be saved. So I just started accumulating buildings and property here. A historic place that roots all the way down to what Nevada once was. The people that came here to make memories of a future that would never happen, only to be washed away and burned, disappearing this golden metropolis into a ghost town. It's sad to see, but at the same time marvelous, to be so close to history. Such an exciting uh, town. It was the largest gold gold camp, the last major gold camp, and it was extremely large, about 25,000 people in this area at the time. And it's just had a lot of uh, a lot of historical things happen here. We had four railroads coming into town. And we had, you know, and it was born with uh, with electricity and running water started in 1902 and it had everything because all the railroads I mean everything you could want in a store was here and it was uh, pretty exciting. Jonas Cook Bank Building is one of the last original buildings still standing in Goldfield. The sister building in Rhyolite barely resembles what it once was not so long ago. These few historic landmarks that reside in Goldfield still standing against time itself in this once legendary town over 119 years ago. While its history is vast and it's intertwined with the likes of George Wingfield, the question is, who remains here? What haunts this building and why? I'm on the second floor. 
by myself in this whole building. I do not think this is a good idea. I am scared, <laughs> but I really want to do this in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's begin. Okay, voice recorder, session one. I think I'm gonna do something stupid. If there's anything here with me, I just wanna contact with, I just wanna make contact with you. I wanna contact, a connection. I want a connection with you. David moving. Everywhere I go, I get something asking for me to open a door. Well, I'm giving you permission to open the door. So if you're here, I want you to come towards me. back on <clears throat> thought I saw something here move around are you back here are you back there I'm all by myself. I am literally alone. I've opened the door. If you are here, can you give me a sign? Are you back here? I can't see shit, so... I can't see. 
but you can. There's nothing to be afraid of. EDI meter. Right there. It is 66.2 degrees right now. If you go to that device over here on the ground, you can make it light up. Can you do that? It won't hurt you. You can take that energy. You can take my energy. This device right here. This will let me know if there's a change. It will light up when it gets hot or cold. And it will make an alarming sound. This is just a simple thermometer that will basically trigger when there's a temperature drop or rise. That's a temperature rise. What is that? A sixty six point six. It's rising. That's sixty six point six. Try this. REM pod, everyone's seen them. But this will be my trigger object to see if anything comes up or down the stairs. I'm not saying 100% that that is anything. Okay, next one. My favorite, the Ovulus 3, a database of words, but all it is is a device to just allow spirits to pick what they want to use to communicate with me. Let's, let's try it. The device I'm holding in my hand will allow you to talk to me as well. You can pick the words. Do you want to pick the words? I want to see it sounds like someone, like there's creaking up there, but... What the hell? What the hell does that mean? Indirect V. It's gonna say, but this is an old building, so they could just be creaking. Also, I feel very comfortable just being right here at the moment. Indirect V?
Again, I don't know what everyone's thinking. David, are you going to use a ghost box or spirit box? Yes. Yes, I am. Because this is boring. This to me seems dumb to be by myself here, but here I am. Not much. All right. Leave that there. Decimal. Okay. I do the ghost box, I set it to 100 milliseconds. The fastest he'll go on this device. Whether you like me using this or not, it works. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> this device allows me to talk to you. It allows me to hear you. <laughs> Can you please come closer to me and say hi? I don't want to harm you. I just want to talk. There's a lot of people out there that want to know that you exist. I do, I'm one of them. I want to know that you guys exist. Quiet. Are you back here? What's your name? Can you tell me your name? that. Say Kruger? <laughs> Come on guys. Use my energy. I give you permission. Take what you need. Open the door.
Anything? Please? Are you up here? Is this where you are? And so this old building is constantly settling. Is that you? You hear that? Was that you? That was loud. Can you do that one more time?
All right. I'm back. If there's anything here with me, if there's anything here, can you please come forth? I have devices here from my time that are able to communicate with you. All I want to do is have a conversation. And if you can, can you speak into this device that I'm holding as loud as possible? All right, I'm back. If there's anything here with me, if there's anything here, can you please come forth? Next up. Nothing. still hard to breathe. <laughs> Who's up there? Are you up there? Are you up here? Is that you walking? All I got was sighs and I heard something walking. Are you back there? Sir, are you up here? Can you tell me if you're up here?
Larry. If there's anything here, I wish to open the door. I wish to open my myself so you can use my energy. I want you to come forth and communicate with me. I have a device right here. You can pick the words you want to share with me and I will listen, I will hear you. I mean no harm and I'm sure you mean no harm to me. But you have to understand I cannot see you. Hi. No response. Hug. Hug. You want to hug me? Well, if you want to hug me, I'm right here. Can you come down the stairs? I got no response to where are you, Larry? But I immediately got something on the Oculus 3 saying hug. Do you want a hug? response L-O-S-E lose are you up there? They're an order of things. Order what? Am I ordering you to? Or is that an order to hug or something? Order what? No response. No response. Nothing. got quiet.
who is here with me? I got f like three or four no responses. And then I get boot. B O O T, boot. Are you walking? Is that your, your boot steps? Are you gonna walk for me? Where are you gonna walk? Where are your boots? Talk to me. No response. No response. It's just, it's, it already went up there. I, I, I have to assume that this, this building is still settling because I can see it's 68.1. Like it's slightly colder outside, slightly warmer in here. Unless I hear actual like boots. Will you talk to me? Indirect. Indirect. Populous isn't doing anything. Open the door, French. Whoa. Open the door, French city. All right, okay, that's cool. I got French last time at Binion's, but now I got city. Don't worry, I won't make that joke again. <laughs> Am I speaking with... Am I speaking with something that followed me from Binion's or Bonnie Springs. City. <sighs> what city? No response. No response. Decimal. You know, it's, it's, I'll, it's, it's crazy because it's like I come here, set everything up, do all this filming, and, and then I'm, I'm slightly tired, and then you guys give me like puzzles to solve. I just, can you not tell me the city? 
guess we'll do a ghost box session. I wonder if everyone's gonna love that. There's a horn outside. Rewind. 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 Decimal. Cotton. The ovulus says cotton. All right. I'm using a device. That will allow me to hear you. My blue light just shut off. That was a uh, full battery. Okay, I don't know if I like this thing. Okay, so I have a... I have I had a blue light on just so I can at least see something. You know, because I'm scared. <laughs> that had a full battery. I charged that thing fully. It said they had seven hours on it. And it's dead. Many. Yeah, many voices. Or many spirits. Or many things surrounding me. Okay, I got it on 100 milliseconds. Fast as it could go. In pitch blackness right now, and got something saying many. What's many? It's quiet. Can we open the doorway so we can communicate? Can we open it? Larry? You? You? Larry, are you there? Carol, are you there? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Was that you that just... Can I see you? Did I see that shadow? Was that you?
Either my eyes are playing tricks on me. I thought, I swear to God, I saw something come down on the stairs, the top of it. Like something created a shadow. I think from the light of the, 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 the viewfinder on the camera up there. Whoa. All right. Uh, all right, you got me here. I'm not leaving. I'm standing my ground. So if you can reassure me that nothing's going to happen, I'd appreciate that. Please. He drained my battery on my light, my safety light. I saw something move, I think, up there, like a shadow. I just want to know. Ah, oh, God. It moved so quick that I swear. So wait, say that again. Oh, ears, ears, look, ears. Ears, dirt, dirt. God damn it. All right, you got me. I'm scared. <laughs> Are you up there? I'll go up there. That's where you're at. Is this where you're at? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What was that? I swear I heard like a lady or something like that. Was that a lady? Did you say something up there? Who's that? I am not moving the camera. Do you guys see that moment? Oh, I see, you see me. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. I see you too. Uh, okay. All right, I see you too. That was a shadow right there, wasn't it? Did I see your shadow right there? You blocked the camera light, right? I'm sorry, I need a minute.
I know I saw something blocked. There's the red lights on any IR light. You'll see red, but we can't actually see the the full light. I saw something block the light up there from one of the security cameras. I don't know if it captured. I just know. And then the ghost box said, I, I see you. I saw a shadow move super quickly. Again, I don't know what the hell, if I'm seeing stuff or not, but I, I'm scared shitless right now. Like, I need a minute. I'm hearing stuff. I'm, call me crazy, I don't know, call me maybe, <laughs> I don't care. This is freaking me out, but it's awesome. I'm sorry. I, it just, it's hard because I know you're, tr you're there. I know you're there. I, I, I think, I believe I saw you. I heard you. But it's hard for me because when you show yourself, all I see is a shadow in the dark. Spirits. Spirits. I've never gotten that. Yes. Y your spirits. Did you see me? No response. This popped up. Spirits. All right, I'm ready to continue. Take that as a yes. Hello? I'm ready to hear you again. I, I, I saw you, and you said you saw me. I'm sorry I freaked out. Where are you? Yeah. I heard that. Can you stay here? Are you here? Are you in there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you realize that I can't see you, so don't like pop out at me. Cool? I'm gonna back myself into here. No. 
Oh. Did you say wrong room? What room? This one? Can you make a noise? This room? What room? Well, I'm taking a break. I'll be back. From the ghost box, I heard like a kid. You can hear the ghost box through the the floor. You gotta say hide. Scary. 